Do we have any mental skills which are uniquely our own? A key clue comes from a new experiment. Back at the University of Texas, Victoria Horner shows a chimp how to operate a puzzle box to get a treat. First, she taps. Then, she slots. Next, she pokes. Chimp copies fairly well and gets the sweet. This game we're going to play is about the special box I brought, all right? There's a gummy bear. It's your turn. Children copy the actions much as the chimps did. Look, oh, you got him! All right, there's a gummy bear. Good job. The second box that I show the chimpanzees is this one, and it's identical to the opaque box, except that it's made out of material which is see-through. Only now is it obvious that the tapping and poking don't achieve a thing. The box has a false ceiling. The chimps cut to the chase. They skip the needless steps. For the apes, it is all about the treat. What this study shows is that apes don't just mindlessly ape. They also understand something more about We found something quite surprising. The children were predisposed to copy, even when it meant that they were doing something that was really rather silly. So this seems a little like the chimps are outsmarting the kids in this particular study. There he is. You got him out. Why do children imitate slavishly? The root of the children's behavior is the fact that they view me as a grown-up, possibly as a teacher. That children expect to be taught is a vital difference. While apes can copy, most researchers believe that they do not teach each other.